Hello everyone, the video is a free to hear back with another deck review. Buckle up, this is going to be a bit of a long one. <laughs> Get some popcorn, whatever. Um, hopefully it won't be super long, but we'll see. There's four decks. This is the latest from Elephant Playing Cards. It's finally here. It took a little while to get here, but it's finally here. It's the latest from the Alpha and Omega series. We have the Creation, the Law, the Gospel, and the Revelation. And they all say Alpha and Omega playing cards in the bottom. Very nice foil and embossed tuck cases. Let's see if I can show you the embossing on there a little bit. And, you know, different symbolisms on them. Like this one has the Tree of Life. This one has three crosses representing, obviously, the crucifixion. Um, to the side, it just says highest quality poker size. Same thing. Uh, the name on top, creation law, revelation, so forth. Add copy in the bottom. And the back is the back design. It looks very nice. Uh, custom stamp seals as well. And of course, uh, the, the inspiration behind these from Ben Jones, who's the designer, uh, who is with Elephant Playing Cards, was you know, the fact that Christianity and religion is a really big thing in the world. And he is a Christian, and so he decided, and of course, playing cards is a big thing, so he figured, why not kind of meld them together? These all depict different biblical periods. The creation. Represents the book of Genesis. Law represents the rest of the Old Testament. The gospel represents the gospels and the Pentecost. And Revelation represents, of course, the apocalyptic last book of the Bible. These are all hand-drawn with a woodcut style. Embossed in foil tuck cases. There's also interior foil and custom seals. These are printed by the USBC Premium B Stock. Erica's Infinite Metallic Inks, Soft Touch Stock for the tuck case as well. That's why it feels very nice. Uh, I'll just show you the inside, so the Tree of Life on there. And this one says here, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And it says that as well, I guess, in Hebrew. And you can see the foil patterns for the inside. Very nice. I'll, I'll do, like, you know, deck by deck. And it's also globe on the inside that being said not sure it quite looked like that well, maybe it did back in the day back at that time <laughs> and you got a couple of cards with information about the different you know what the aces represent cast out of the garden creation of adam and eve the fall and let there be light the joker is in this one um First one is the universe that God breathed out. There's a Bible quote on there. And this one has a deliverer who was sent to stomp out this serpent. It must have been me. Yeah, sent out to crush the serpent's head. Get into the aces. Uh, as I kind of mentioned. Eh, a little over the place here. Bear with me. It's just like what we saw on the other card. Um... I believe this is, well, you can see there's a tree of life. I believe this is, you know, God speaking light into existence. You got Adam and Eve being created and then being cast out. The court cards are very nice. They're double-sided. Feature different characters, Seth and Adam. 
Okay, that's Adam, not Seth. There's Eve and Rebecca. And then we got Noah and Enoch. Some of these names I'm familiar with, some I'm not, like Enoch I've never heard of. Cain and Abel. Uh, Sarah and Hagar. And then here we got the Pharaoh and some guy named Lot. <laughs> Interesting name, to say the least. And then we got Laban or Laban and Isau. Calls us some butcher any names. Rachel and Leah. And then we got Isaac and Abraham, two of the old school guys from like the beginning of the Bible. Ismail and Nimrod. Asenath and Potiphar's wife, who apparently does not have a name, <laughs> just his wife. And then Jacob and Joseph. Very nice. And all the cards and number cards have these border details, as you can see. And there's some metallic things to the cards. That's expected. The backs on this one, very nice. You got the Tree of Life. Um, let's see, I got some information on the backs here. You got the Tree of Knowledge, sorry. Of, it's the Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil. There's the Leo Star uh, Constitution, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I didn't write the whole word. I can't think of what it is. That sounds right, though. Uh, basically, the Leo Star. You got the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, the Central Earth. Uh, which is a central world design depicting God's creation. So there's God's creation, Earth, and some of the other details. Very cool. And nice metallic -y inks. Now let's look at Law. And I'll put that aside for a moment. And this one inside says, Thus says the Lord. Some scrolls in there, and you are on the inside, and you got the tablets of Ten Commandments. And the aces here, you can see one represents the bunny, the burning bus, and then we got Passover, Eliza versus Baal's prophets, and parting of the sea. And the jokers, it's, uh, it's an interesting one. First of all, you have the golden calf that was. No bueno, it wasn't good. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're only supposed to, you know, praise God, not these you know, creations that they made. <laughs> and, uh, and actually, that's Aaron in there as well. And then this one is the Pharaoh, of course imprisoned slaves that's not good obviously for the aces in this one obviously got the burning bus as we saw already this is passover that is depicted in the movie when actually this is not the burning bus is it could be <laughs> uh this is when there was uh, one of the things that happened at a time where Moses was standing up to the Pharaoh and it was decreed by the Pharaoh that all the firstborn of Egypt would die. And so they painted the doors with blood to be saved by God. So it's, I'm, I'm butchering the whole story, but... <laughs> Uh, anyways, what else do we got here? Uh, we also got this. I'm not sure which one's supposed to be the burning bus. And then there is the 
parting of the sea. And I like how they did that with the diamond being the ground underneath the sea. And I guess this one symbolizes um, Eliza's victory of prophets of over the prophets of Baal. These are moments that shaped Israel, is what these are representing. Going to the court guards, we got Moses. Actually, this is Aaron. And there's Moses. And then we got Miriam and Rahab. Jonah and Daniel, Joshua, Samuel, Naomi, Ruth, Ezekiel, and I kid you not, Job. <laughs> and then we got Isaiah and Eliza. Yeah. Bunch of ghouls. I dropped it, of course. Of course I'm dropping it. And then we got <laughs> Esther and Hannah. David and not Goliath, Saul. And lastly here we got Samson and Gideon. Sulamite. And Bathsheba, and then Solomon, and Nehemia. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, put those aside. And, oh, the back design, I guess I should show you that. It's got the Ten Commandments on there, uh, aka Aleph and Yud, which is one and ten in Hebrew. And There's also a crown, a scroll, a dagger, which symbolizes the threefold prophet, priest, and king roles. There's a menorah, the twin tablets, which is the Ten Commandments. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Moving on, we have the gospel. So put crosses on here. And here it says nothing in English, nothing I can read, unfortunately. Or I'm going to try to read it. <laughs> and there's a nice cross on the inside. Being someone who was Catholic and spent a lot of time going to church. I'm familiar with old crosses, uh, those type of crosses. So this one, the gospel, it, uh, depicts seeds throughout Jesus' ministry. Including John baptizing Jesus, the Last Supper, his crucifixion, and the empty tomb. Uh, that's what you'll see on the aces, and you'll see here on this ad card. And here we got Caiaphas. And Caiaphas, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> and this guy here, Pilate, Pontius Pilate, or Chief. Uh, opponents of Jesus. And of course, Pontius is the one who had Jesus crucified. So here we got the empty tomb with an angel up above. For that ace. Um, here we have the crucifixion. Here we have the wine and the bread at the Last Supper. And here is Jesus being baptized by uh, St. John. Oop. Very nice. Court cards, here we got some of the apostles, John and Peter. Mary and Magdalene. Mary, the two Marys, <laughs> Nicodemus, and Stephen. I did not know that Stephen was a biblical name. <laughs> um, 
John the Baptist, of course, and James. Joanna and Martha. Herod the Great and Herod the Greep of the Second. Moving on. We have Barabbas, Barabbas, and Simon of Cyrene. And then we got Priscilla, Anna, Paul, and Timothy. Again, they don't tell me his name would be biblical, but eh, there you go, learn something. Here we got the chief priests and Judas Iscariot, uh, Iscariot, sorry. Lydia and Tabitha and lastly Apollos and Barnabas another Barnabas <laughs> anyways that is that one and the back design I should probably show you that this one has I didn't write it down well, it's got the three crosses representing the crucifix and a little cross made of nails in the middle here representing the nails that were used to hang them. And I guess the sun rising. Something like that. It's very nice though. Lastly, we got the Revelation. And this one has a lion on the flap. And here it says, Come Lord Jesus. Now, I wonder if there is actually English on here that I just missed. No, there isn't. And the inside of this one is some crowns representing or depicting that and basically Jesus is the king. I would say. Um, this one on the aces. It features beautiful elements from the coming triumphant kingdom, the New Jerusalem, the marriage supper of the Lamb. I'm not sure what that means, <laughs> but that's how it's written. And also the tree of life and the river of life. And you see that here, tree of life, river of life, marriage supper of the Lamb. And New Jerusalem. The Joker's on this one. And... These ones are diptych Jokers. They kind of go together, I guess, somehow. What we have here is... Revelation. It's a headless guy. And another Revelation. Uh, what these are is the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, aka Conquest, War, Famine, and Death. And that's what's depicted on there, the Headless Horseman, I guess. Ugh. Going on to the Aces, obviously the Tree of Life. Sun over it. This is that Marriage Supper of the Lamb. See, I wasn't making it up. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. New Jerusalem. And lastly, the River of Life. Very cool. Ah. Cooperate, please. Pretty court cards. Um. have a lion and a lamb. You have the beast from the sea, not the beast from the east. <laughs> That's Bam Bam Bagel. You got death. These are actually one way court cards. Two witnesses to something. The beast from the land and Famines. This is again depicting the four horsemen. There's war. Napoleon. And 
three angels. And then here we have Conquest, a harlot, you can see a metallic -y chalice or cup, and then a rainbow over the throne and elders. Very cool. Uh, basically, the queens are demonic tormentors, the beasts from the earth, the beasts from the sea, the harlot who rides dragon and Apollyon, the kings of the size a, a lamb who is a lion, two witnesses who are saints, uh, so two witnesses, saints with crowns at the throne in heaven and angels sent out with the seals, trumpets, and bowls of God's judgment. And then the jacks are the four horsemen of the apocalypse, conquest, war, famine, and death. The jokers are depict jokers depicting heaven opening and saints returning to earth with Jesus. So that's what this is here. I was reading the wrong thing. It's nothing to do with the four horsemen. My apologies about that. The back design uh, features a crown, result of the lion and lamb. A uh, crown symbolizing Jesus' kingship. There's alpha and omega symbols. The, the name of the, the deck, obviously. <laughs> and this has to do with the whole story. And yeah, really cool. The cards are printed for all the decks by USBC on a Ericus Infinis Premium B Stock, as I mentioned earlier, which is awesome. Metallic inks. Very nice top cases. Uh, I will give these a solid A+. I really like them. I like the artwork. I like everything that's depicted in there and the stories it's telling. And, yeah, thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out more from Elephant Playing Cards. We'll see you next time. More thanks for watching. Yikes, this is a long review. I apologize about that, but there's a lot to talk about. We'll see you next time if you're still watching. I hope you're still watching. If you're not, same on you. <laughs> see you next time.